Hello everyone, hopefully you're doing pretty well today. My name is Deborah and welcome to my channel, Crafty Chalk and Creations. Today's project, I'm going to be using Chalk Couture's Drop Frame Box. It's a wooden frame. It's painted white. You can distress if you want to. And it comes with three of these chalk suede inserts. So they're double-sided, so if you want to do like six different designs, you could do that. And then it just pops right in there. You're going to have it horizontal or vertical. So um, what I'm going to be using today is going to be the transfer love you more and dragonfly now i've already done a video with the love you more and i used a little bit of the from the transfer more peppermint please i'll have a link posted up to that video below in the description box and at the end of this video but today i'm going to be doing the dragonfly and i have some scrapbooking paper that someone had given me now i've already pre-waxed this so if you want to use paper you'll need to wax your surface, okay? And I've got some other videos that I, um, I show you how to wax it, but really quick, you just take a cloth, you go into your wax, you get it on there, you smooth it on the surface, you're gonna put your transfer on, or, you know, put it on there, then you buff it to where you'll have a sheen and it doesn't feel a little tacky, and then um, it's ready to for your you to put your transfer on there with your paste. All right, but if you just want to use this design straight on the surface, you do not need to wax it. It just has that like suede feel to it. And I'm also going to be using their bright white chalk paste. I will put one packet in the editable shopping cart link. Uh, that will be more than enough just to do this one project. But if you want to get the jar, you can add to it if you would like to. That's, like I said, it's going to be an editable shopping cart link. Anything from Chalk Couture I'll have in there. And I'm also using some permanent scrapbooking tape. All right, so um, I've already pre-waxed to save some time, and I've already fuzzed my transfer. Now, this is a size B transfer. It's an 8.5 by 11, so you get two designs here. Now, along here, you can cut. What I do is I take my scissors, and I just score it. So that way, I have this all-on-one transfer. That's totally up to you as an option if you'd like to do that. So I've already pre-fuzzed this to save a little bit of time, but for those of you that are new, I'm just going to show you really quick what fuzz is. This is a fuzzing cloth. But if you don't have one, don't worry. You can use a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, a piece of fabric. Just something to take, minimize some of the stickiness a little bit. Because these are reusable. And all you do is just put it down on your cloth and just pull it up. Now I fuzz this. That will be the sixth time that I have fuzzed that. And I'm going to just set that aside. Now I'm not using this. I must <laughs> grab that. I'm using my scrapbooking paper. And all I'm going to, because I want to try to rip around this, I didn't want to cut it. So I'm just going to position this where I think I'm going to have enough to uh, rip it around and on the surface that I waxed. And why you wax your paper is because if you don't, these are reusable, they're sticky, it will stick to your paper, it will stick to your transfer, and it will ruin your transfer pretty much. Ask me how I know. I did that <laughs> when I first started with Chalk Tour. Didn't really know about it, and one of these I just jump in both feet, learn as I go. And I thought, didn't think really think that much of it about waxing, and so I put some on some black paper, and I was able to get most of it off. But uh, yeah, it was it was a chore. So don't don't do that. Be sure that you wax if you're going to use this on paper okay so all i'm doing is smoothing this over to make sure that i have good contact i don't have any little air bubbles or little lumps and bumps or any fuzzies preventing my paste um trying to minimize my paste from possibly seeping underneath so i just want to make sure this is down very well and that's peeling up good so i think we're good to go now i'm using the bright white if you don't have this exact kind of paper in your stock, use whatever craft scrapbooking paper that you like that you think will go with this design. That is one of the things I love about Chalk Couture. You are in control on how you want your art or your home decor projects to look. I mean, you can anything that's going to fit with your decor. If you prefer brown, you could do that. If you want to do a completely different color, you want to do black and white, you can do that also. So I'm taking my small squeegee because I'm doing all of one color. Um, instead of the mini squeegee. That way it would just be faster for me to do my project. And I just put my paste on that bevel edge there. And I generously apply it to my transfer to try to make sure I've got good coverage. Okay. Need a little bit more there. Because 
um, once you do that, you can just scrape off any excess. I just want to make sure I've got good coverage. And if you use the jar, just scrape off the excess back into your jar. If you're using the packet, just scrape it off on a plate that you're using. And I'm just taking that squeegee and I'm scraping off any of the excess so that way I'm trying to have good, even coverage. There we go. I was wanting to do this in different colors, but that would be a little bit more of a lengthy video. Um, I still may do it. So now I'm going to do is peel and reveal. Oh, I like how that looks. All right, I've got an extra towel over here. So I, I just lay that down because I'm doing demonstration here. And I just stick it side down and I spray it with some water. But as soon as you're done with your uh, pasting, you should take it to the sink and clean it. All right, now I need to make sure that this is good and dry because I want to try to rip around the paper. Now, if you want it exactly, you know, symmetrical and you don't want, like, I'm going to try to kind of have, like, a little ragged edge there. You can cut it. You can measure and you can cut, tape it down. You're good to go. Um, but I want to try to tear this a little bit and just kind of have more rough, a rough edge. So I'm just making sure that this is good and dry. You can use a hair dryer. This is a heat embossing tool, so this gets pretty hot. And it does kind of melt that wax a little bit into the paper. There we go. All right, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to my finger down and just kind of tear a little bit and I don't care if I have the white edges showing in this paper because my background is white and my frame is white but if you want to distress if you have some distressing ink or anything like that you could do that like I said you are in control of how your project looks Try down this way. Oh, oh. Don't want to rip it there. Okay. All right. So far, I like how that looks. And I just want to get rid of that uh, straight edge that's on that side. All right, I think that looks a little long right there, so I'm just going to try to rip this off a little bit more there. There we go. I do, I like that. Uh, well, I like it, but it does look a little lopsided, so... I'm just kind of kind of get in here a little bit closer. There we go. And a little bit here. All right. I like that. All right, then all you need to do, now this is permanent tape, and you just, if you've never used one of these, you you know, you have your applicator and you just roll your tape on, lift up. You can put as much or as little as you want on there. So this is just to like hold it on there. And then... Now you have to remember there's going to be a little bit of dimension here. So if you want, to, if you want to make sure that this is centered, put your insert in first. And then place it in there and just press it on. And there you go. I love
love that. I hope you enjoyed this project. And then when you want to just switch it out and you want to do maybe a different design on the back, or maybe you want to do this same transfer on the back, maybe in color, or you want to do it in black or storm gray if you have more of a neutral tones in your home. Whatever color you would like, you can do that. And then you just pop it back in there. I do. I love this. I love how that turned out. I hope you enjoyed this project. And it gave you an idea of something you can do with that transfer. Uh, love you more. Like I said, I'll have a link to that other video down below in the description box at the end of the video. And something you can use this dragonfly for. And I was also thinking you might even, uh, if you'd like to, use this on a, uh, a card. A card for someone. I do. I hope you enjoy this project. And thank you so much for watching. And you have a wonderful day.